What is up everybody and welcome back to my channel Indie Sense and today I'm back at it again with another duo of course. I don't know what it is but duo is what get me the most love right now so we're going to keep the ball rolling and today we have a review of this Midnight Caribbean Rendezvous. Look at that. Gotta show the label. Beautiful label. I love that. That dark beach in the back compliments this bottle right here. I'm not gonna lie. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. You may be asking yourself, what is Midnight Caribbean Rendezvous. What is it? As y'all can see, I got this right here. All right? That's right. Creed, Virgin Island Water, and La Noit de Lone. Okay? A hybrid of these two. And they came up with this. Don't ask me how, okay? If if you real if you are real cologne collector out there, and you have these two in your arsenal, you're gonna be like, how? Two different. It's two different scents. Like these two would never work. You would say in your mind, right? That's what I thought too. This. These two different scents that go to two different ways that shouldn't go together, right? But, I'm telling you, Masam over there at Dua, he did it. And he came out with this. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how he did it, but he made it work. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. It's... It's pretty well balanced. Well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a little bit. Okay? But, these two just go t two different directions. They, they shouldn't even go together. But for some reason, he made it work. You know? Real cardamom heavy cologne. And then you put this Creed Virgin Island water. A freshie for, for vacations and beaches. How could that... How could they work? I don't know. They made it work. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. All right. Creed, of course. One of my favorite Creed in, in my arsenal. But I made a review. Make sure y'all check that out. Y'all got to be confident to wear this. I'm not going to stress it enough, you know. S to some people, they might get offended by this. They might, they, they're probably going to be like, what, what, what are you wearing? Like. Why are you wearing that? All right? You know what I'm saying? Like, it is unisex for some reason. But, like, I feel like this is perfect. If you, if you live in Florida and off the beach coast, you want to unbutton your, your buttons on your shirt and, and spray this and go on a beach walk? Perfect scent for that right here. You know? Now, this right here, some people, they might say, yeah, for the fall and the winter, you know, you get that spiciness to it. Great overall scent, too. But this has been reformulated way too many times, you know. This is a newer batch also. But, uh, but uh, yeah, let's get back to this baby right here. We're not, we're not here for this. I did make, make a video on these two down there in my videos. Make sure y'all check it out if y'all want to. And, uh, yeah, let's get into this right here. So, yeah, I, I wore this the other day, and that day, for some reason, y'all know I like to wear a fragrance and, and do a review that night, and I let y'all know how it performed and all that, but that night, I was having uh, car issues, so I couldn't really get to recording that day, but uh, yeah, I wore it, yeah, and uh, I, got, I got to wear it about twice already, so I'm ready to review it for you guys, okay? All right, let's put these to the side. 
like I said, Masam over there, he did a great job with this. With the label, with the scent, how he balanced it. Um, I say it could have he could have went a little bit more with the uh, a little bit of more Lanoid, but you get a lot, a lot of Creed Virgin Island water in this, and that's pretty much what you're gonna get for most of the performance of the uh, cologne. You're gonna get a lot of Virgin Island Island water. I don't know if you guys are into that, but like, I sprayed this, and I only got La Nuit de Lone maybe the first half hour. I was smelling La Nuit, and then for the rest of the day at work, I was smelling a lot like Virgin Island water, which is not bad, because I kind of like their version of Virgin Island water better. I feel like... This Virgin Island water, their uh, interpretation of Virgin Island water, Caribbean waters, that's what Creed should have been. The performance would have been way better, how Dua did it, but you can't knock Creed. It's a classic also, you know. But yeah, like I said, the first half hour, I got that La Nuit de Lone, okay? You could smell it in it. It was working together. And it smelled real good, I'm not going to lie. I just feel like maybe you should have stuck around a little bit longer, right? But, uh, yeah, let's get a, a spray, and I'll get the notes right to y'all. Get that spray right there. Check out that label. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting that cardamom right now with that virgin line water, and it's smelling real good. Nice and fresh. I like this. When this dropped, I believe this was for the July 4th drop. I was the most excited for this right here. I'm not going to lie. Right off the back, I wanted this. So this is the first thing I grabbed in my cart. Beautiful scent. You get the cardamom from the La Nuit right off the back with the Virgin Line water working very well. That's nice. Let me dry down and get the notes to y'all right now. So Duo went straight to the point with this one. The notes for Midnight Rendezvous Caribbean is bergamot, lime, mandarin, coconut, sugarcane, white rum, cardamom, lavender, cedar, cumin, and vetiver. Okay, what do I get from it right now? I get that lime from that Creed Virgin Island water working very well with the cardamom from La Nuit. Very well balanced. It's drying a little bit right now. Nice. You get the sugar cane. You don't get too much coconut. Maybe like a hint in the background. A little bit of coconut. That sweet coconut. A little bit of white rum coming in real nice. You get that burn that mandarin. You get that mandarin. It's categorized as a citrus. And it is unisex. But it's lean and masculine, in my opinion. It's nice. It's real nice. I would recommend this right here. This was one of my favorite from the uh, July 4th drop. Okay? So let's get into the sea projection. Sea projection, I got about two hours to two and a half, and then performance overall, I got a I got a full day, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I got a full day. So I'm gonna stamp this with that. It's a banger. It is a banger, okay. And I'm sure a lot of you would enjoy this. Great for summer, maybe all year round, cause you get a little bit of the lanoe in it. But it leans more for summer and spring, that type of weather. Yeah. I didn't get no compliments the times that I wore it. It dries down nice, too. I'm not going to lie. You're getting a lot of creed now. Like I, like I was telling you guys, the cardamom is starting to fade off a little bit into the background. 
and you're getting more of that, of that sharpness line from the Creed. But I'm not complaining. It smells real good, you guys. Overall scent, I would give this maybe a, a 8 out of 10. Just because I, I wish the Latin wheat would stick around a little bit more. But, stamp of approval. Make sure y'all check this out. Go to Duo's website. It's still up for sale. And uh, get y'all some of that Midnight Caribbean Rendezvous. Alright. Thanks a lot. Make sure y'all subscribe. Like the video. Comment. I always get back to everybody. And uh, yeah. Have a good one.